Alcohol, tobacco and firearms agent Mike Matassa had finally nailed a suspect in one of the longest running serial arsonist cases to hit the west coast of America. They disclosed to me that they had developed a, a suspect. And they came up with a match to John Orr. John Orr. John Orr. John Orr. John Orr. A fire captain. John Orr. John Leonard Orr. John Orr. John Orr. John Orr. John Orr. He's an amazing guy. And I remember my feeling at the time, whenever they said it's John Orr, it was like the hair stood up on the back of my neck. you, you got to be kidding, you know, this, this guy's a well-known fire investigator. Who at that time actually had been uh, considered as another investigator working on the case. And he had been doing arson investigation for at least 10 years. John Orr was a legendary arson investigator. The idea of him being the serial arsonist who had started hundreds of arson fires was a complete shock to those who worked closely with him. A special team was set up to get to the truth. Mike Cabra joined the team as a prosecutor. You know, as I look back on it now, we were really providing him with intelligence information on what everybody else was looking at and what everybody had determined was significant. He was well known throughout the state. And he was charming, and he was funny. He taught a lot of uh, classes. A person in our line of work, they not only learn how to find the fires, they also learn how to set them. It turns out that John Orr always wanted to be a police officer. And in fact, he had applied for the Los Angeles Police Department. And he didn't make it because of the psychiatric test that was given. There were some answers that the psychiatrist didn't like. But in any case, he had to be fingerprinted to apply for the Los Angeles Police Department. And eventually, the fingerprints came back to haunt him when a single fingerprint was found in a fire in a store in Bakersfield, California. The incendiary device, the ignition device, which was simply a matchbook, a cigarette, and a piece of paper, a simple device that uh, is used by arsonists the world over. The matches were like the paper, and the paper would produce enough flame. And on that piece of paper was a fingerprint. And that fingerprint is what eventually trapped and caught John Orr. We could have arrested him on that one fire, but as we start to look at it and realize how many fires this guy had committed, we began to suspect that he was responsible for hundreds of uh, brush fires and residential fires over the 10 years. The profile of John Orr was a very unique one because most serial arsonists were disorganized. And the fact that he was so well organized and so well structured in, in the way he committed the fires was, was actually very unique. John Orr is a psychopath and he was just driven psychologically. He's like a fire bug. I'll bet that everyone has met a person with strong psychopathic tendencies. At the face of it, Judging by his appearance and reputation, John Orr was an unlikely psychopath. Someone who manipulates. Someone who generally is an impulsive, hedonistic person who has to satisfy desires immediately and often has uh, exotic interests uh, and cravings that need to be addressed. And absolutely no remorse, ever. And also a lot of vanity was involved, you know. It's just like, hey, look at me. I can be the bad guy, but I can also be the good guy, and they never know I'm the bad guy. But Orr's darker side was about to be revealed in an ironic twist. We learned that he had written a novel that he was trying to publish. In a stunt worthy of a Hollywood thriller, John Orr tried to create the perfect alibi by framing himself. None of us could believe it when we saw it. Uh, I mean, it, frankly, when we heard he was writing a novel, we thought it might be something that would give us a little insight as to where, what he thought, but never did we dream that he'd be writing a story about himself. It was his feeling that no one would ever put it together, that he was, in fact, the arsonist that the manuscript was talking about. They're so close to reality that it was clear that he was writing the fictional book of the fires that he had been setting. And he portrayed himself in the book as hot dog investigator, uh, tough type character, you know, with cowboy boots, and he knew everything. And that was the way he saw himself, as being an outstanding fire investigator, but also an outstanding arsonist. 